how to get around this truck, guys. Well, I am completely aware now of, of what has been wrong with me for the last two years with all the 300 plus videos I uploaded on YouTube, with all the channels I promoted, with all the videos that I found that were not being seen, I am now realizing what I've been so pissed off about. Guys, you may hate me for saying this. Some of you may unsubscribe. God damn it, you asshole. Some of you may unsubscribe. But I am jealous of the First Amendment auditors. That's right, I am jealous of all the First Amendment auditors and cop watchers. Because I just passed two, well, let's see, what was it? Two carloads of cops, a detective car, had a car pulled over, people pulled out, they were doing searches on them. Um, and see probably seizures and I realized something there's nobody filming this nobody at all filming this situation and there should be someone out there and that someone should have been me but guys I'm stuck in this vehicle making deliveries trying to make money to keep a roof over my head but I'd rather be out there doing that because see all these First Amendment auditors they all get to get out there and fight for their rights but I'm not able to and I'm trying to figure out why and it just hit me 25 minutes ago with all the 300 plus videos I uploaded with all the auditors I promoted on my channel, I just realized that I am jealous of them because they're able to get out there and do that. I want to get out there and do that, but I have to keep a roof over my head. So how the hell can I make, how can I put the two things together? How can I make it happen? How can I, some may say I can do it at night. Well, I don't get off until night and I got things to do at home. I got a life, you know, I have a life. I have things I have to take care of like animals and chores and things like that to get ready for the next day at work, which is just what I do. This is what I deal with on a daily basis, traffic. You know, it's five o'clock, there's traffic. And see, I gotta get way the hell over there and there's no way I can get over there because it's not moving. So, I'm gonna do a little trickery, what I call trickery, and I'm just gonna do it like this. But my ass in is hanging in the other lane. I guess I'm a jackass for doing that though, right? But, um, <clears throat> So I'm really, all you auditors out there, I am, in, I'm, in, I'm jealous of you. And I just realized how jealous I am of all you guys being able to get out there and do that. Now, I'm not too crazy about the thought of getting arrested. And I'm sure you guys are not either. But I am extremely jealous. And I'm, you know what? I'm rather pissed off. But I guess that's better than being pissed on, unless you like that sort of thing. Some people do. And this lady's looking at me like, I know she's thinking, well, he must be talking on his cell phone. But I think she looked up at the camera. That's all right. That's all right, lady, because she's talking to somebody too. But, um, so I can't get out there and do nothing, right? I've got to do this. I'm going to get on a little bit here, guys. I don't want this light to catch me. God, shit. I knew it was going to happen, damn it. I can't run red lights in the company car. But, so I'm extremely jealous of all you auditors. All you auditors. Every damn one of you. 
you guys can kiss my ass. Because I want to get out there, man. That situation back there, I don't know what was going on. But somebody needed to be filming. Somebody needed to be out there with a camera. Where the hell is everybody in Georgia, right? Where is everybody? I know I'm not the only person from Georgia watching. Is there anybody out here in Georgia that can actually get out there and do audits? Anybody? Can we can we get somebody in Georgia other than you know that guy from Boston? He knows who he is. <laughs> you asshole. No, I like the guy, man. He's all right. He's just crazy as hell, like everybody else. But um, there needs to be an auditor in the areas that I deliver in. There needs to be somebody out here doing audits. As a matter of fact, if you go a mile to my right, there's a police station up there. There's a police station right up the street, right on the right-hand side. I'm not Well, not even a mile, maybe, maybe about four or five tenths of a mile. So, hey, I just realized what's been wrong with me the last two years. And I know, I know there is somebody in this state that wants to get out there but can't. They have to work, like me. And, you know, guys, damn it, it's frustrating. Now, if I had money, I'd be out there. If I had money to take care of my, the security side of my life, because we all, I mean, let's face it, we all want a little bit of security in our lives, financially. And that's what we work for. You know, if I, if I had money to keep a roof over my head, pay, pay bail money. Because, you know, once you start getting arrested, you're not going to be able to get a job, right? Think about it. Common sense. You're not going to be able to get a job. Nobody's going to want somebody who, keep, who comes up and says, well, I've been arrested 15 times in the last year. Nobody's going to want anything to do with someone like that. But if I had enough financial money, guys, if I was financially sound, I would be known as the Georgia Radical Reactor. Because there needs to be somebody here. Look what I got to come back through, guys. I got to come see that stuff on the left. I got to come back that way. But, so anyway, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to do any more promotion videos. I'm not sure that I'm going to do any more videos. Because what I've been doing for the last two years is not good enough. It wasn't good enough. That's what I'm feeling right now. That's the, that's the very thoughts that I'm having right now. It just wasn't good enough. I needed to be out there with my camera. But I need to survive too. You know, I'm in between a rock and a hard place. On one hand, I need to be out there. On the other hand, I need to work. If I had a boss that supported it, which I don't, I think he might be a bootlicker, I'm not sure. But he doesn't know about this channel, he just knows about the things I like, that I'm interested in. So, man, I am, uh, I am shocked that I just realized that, that I'm jealous jealous of you guys, man. I am extremely, extremely jealous of you guys. Because I ride around all day. Look, I ride around all day. I see them all day. And I think, man, it should be somebody out there filming that right there. And I've been doing this job the same time I created the Radical React reactor channel 
I've been doing it for two years. I was finally hired full time. They give me the hours I want. They gave me the money I wanted for right now, for right now. But I think every time, man, I see it, I think, damn, man, you know, should I stop? Do I have time to do this? What if I get arrested? I'm gonna get fired. You're out there doing that shit on the job. You know what I'm, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. See, I'm so pissed off that I can't even speak good or speak properly. However you speak, I speak the way I want to speak. I have so many people trying to correct my speech. You know, screw you. Uh, I speak the way I want to. So, I don't know, guys. But uh, I'm coming up on my uh, coming up on my customer right now. See that to the left? I'm going to be stuck in that right there. There is no other way to go. No other way to go. There's no back roads. There's no shortcuts. No nothing. And I know the place like the back side of my hand. So I'm going to have some fun just sitting in traffic. But I'm actually coming up on my customer right now. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm working on a video, guys. I don't know if I'm going to ever upload it. But I'm working on a video about the Constitution and the contradiction laws of the Constitution that have been attached to the Constitution. Anyway, guys, this is Radical. I'm out.